नॉट और कैन आई राइट इंटीग्रल आई सी डी टी बाय एफल नॉट इलेक्ट्रिक फ्लक्स नाउ दिस डिस्प्लेसमेंट करंट वुड बी फाइ एफल नॉट डी फाइ ई बाय डी टी एंड नाउ यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड वट वुड हैपन एक्चुअली इंटीग्रल सॉरी डी बाय डी टी ऑफ इंटीग्रल आई सी डी टी बाय सलन नॉट होल थिंग यू कैन डिफ्रेंशिएट इट इट वुड कम आउट टू बी इक्वल ओके इट वुड कम आउट टू बी इक्वल यू कैन टेक एग्जाम्पल्स एज मेनी एग्जाम्पल्स एज पॉसिबल ओके फॉर ऑल एग्जाम्पल्स दीज वुड बी इक्वल ऑलवेज वी जस्ट प्रूव इट दैट दे वुड बी इन सेम फेज एज वेल ओके वॉट एल्स दे वुड ऑलवेज बी इक्वल एट एनी पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम बिकॉज इफ दे आर आउट ऑफ फेज विच मीन्स एट वन पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम आई सी वुड बी मोर एंड आई डी वुड बी लेस वैल्यूज में चेंज ओके बट दे वुड बी इक्वल एट ऑल टाइम्स सो somebody asked how to uh, you know the head hertz experiment right just just a second i would complete that as well so i hope this is clear from mathematical reasoning we can find this out actually okay okay in this expression with whatever we did even if you consider constants of integration let's say while we were integrating ic dt a constant of integration c came out okay but when you differentiate d phi e by dt when you differentiate electric flux that constant of integration would vanish again vanish so even if there is constant of integration still after differentiation same thing would come back okay now you already know this clear hai cheez electric field magnetic field and the direction of motion would be perpendicular to each other always hmm? okay and here in the equation x here represents the direction of motion so if a wave moves in z direction i would be writing omega t minus kz omega t minus kz if it moves in z direction here j cap and k cap they represent the vectors unit vectors in which electric field and magnetic field are present okay now if you put these things into the four maxwell equation so only the third and fourth actually are necessary if you put electric field in this scenario theek okay, hai you would get some expression for magnetic field you can compare okay out of which you would get this sorry out of out of which you would get this e by b which is actually also equal to e not by b not you can see they are always in phase there is no phi ka factor in both of them so they achieve their peak values at the same time electric field and magnetic field they achieve their zero value at the same time right so at any time if e is electric field and b is magnetic field the ratio is always equal to c it is also valid for peak values okay and you know just using these two expressions these two e and b ka expressions just using these two expressions and putting them in the maxwell third equation and the fourth equation you would be able to get this see i am not doing it because it's not worth while it is not worth the effort you need to put in okay okay for this is for vacuum for a medium this would become 1 by mu e mu epsilon okay okay so if i call refractive index n is actually what c by v hota hai comparison of speeds it becomes under root mu by mu not epsilon by epsilon not or you can call it relative permeability and relative permittivity okay relative permeability and are this should be epsilon r sorry okay i'll draw their hard experiment we have only 5 minutes remaining actually
now this thing is here okay and this was the detector the antenna or we call it a loop in which out of which small portion was cut and two spheres were fixed what happened actually because of the oscillator charge was already you know charge could, you, you could write charge in this format charge was uh, oscillating right at one point this was positive the other one was negative and vice versa so what actually happened because of this there was always a changing flux okay changing flux resulted in a displacement current okay so changing electric field actually produced a magnetic field okay so electric field magnetic field which are changing they form em wave right you can understand this if charge is oscillating like this flux would be in this format sin omega t and the magnetic field would be in cos omega t type of format it would also be sinusoidal right the magnetic field would also be sinusoidal so it would also keep on changing and uh, forever producing electric field so one field produces the other field and this goes on so s1 s2 are two spheres actually you know if we use these two plates directly we would not be able to detect the waves because of low intensity what we do we cause a loss of energy high loss of energy because these are placed very close and sparks fly from one sphere to other okay so what happens because of this sparking you know high loss of energy as heat as em waves as radiation this occurs and this is detected by this antenna in which a current starts flowing okay originally there was not much current because sparking was not happening and uh, happening and because of that no uh, loss of energy very less loss of energy i should say was actually happening okay so to increase intensity of em wave we cause sparking okay okay so in even in uh, clouds you know lightning happens and you know lightning it it falls it strikes ground so you see that this is a thin rod it is not a thin rod it is a thin rod of light is not there it's actually a very thick rod it carries invisible charges as well not all are able to produce light okay okay and if you you know place this kind of detector not that near you know even very far off you can detect the em waves that is the reason why when lightning strikes you know those dish aajkal everywhere there is dish antennas you know for cable connection right so whenever lightning happens lightning strikes in those areas these dish and all they stop working the reason for that is because the em waves produced by lightning are so intense so of, of so much high intensity that actually they interfere with these dish signals okay okay and this lightning signals they don't have any you know very clear well set frequency so it would be it would appear like a noise on your tv right so uh, i wanted to discuss a question actually on this thing this all discussion of speed let's have a question quickly or shall i finish the energy density derivation first let's first finish the energy density derivation okay so you know a uh, em wave is made up of electric field as well as magnetic field electric field of this type has an energy density of half epsilon not e square you do remember this which means for our purpose the energy density would be this right the energy for magnetic field would have a form energy density for magnetic field would have a form v square by 2 mu not it would have we can write it as b not square sin square omega t minus kx by 2 mu not right okay so the total energy you know uh, 
for averaging let's say let's find average first for electric the average would be you do remember we had this angled brackets we had these angled brackets half epsilon not e not square sin square omega t minus kx if you do remember this had an average of how much half only yaad hai kaise aata tha sin square uh, omega t say you can write it as 1 minus cos 2 omega t by 2 and if you integrate it what happens for one cycle which is 0 to t 0 to t this portion becomes zero hai na so half only comes out right so the average of this thing would be half so this would be 1 4 epsilon not e not square even for magnetic field the average would be 1 by 4 mu not sorry b not square by 2 mu not right okay hmm can i raise this the total energy at any time would be half uh, epsilon not e not square sin square omega t minus kx plus half fact not this b not square by 2 mu not sin square omega t minus kx now what you can do is you know that e not by b not is c so e not would be c b not and c we already know it is under root mu not epsilon not okay so if you replace this whole thing into the first term okay you would get again the second term you would get the second term why e not square would be b not square upon mu not epsilon not so epsilon not epsilon not would cut and this would be b not square by 2 mu not right so same thing so actually the magnetic component of energy and the electric component of energy are always equal is it okay even the magnetic field is always lower but the energy carried by electric and magnetic components is always equal so average values would also be equal always okay so do i need to do this actually you can put this value and check yourself that these two components are actually equal in total energy okay so why i had to rush actually because you know i had very less time so now the topic is finished i didn't discuss i just wanted to discuss one question which if time permits i would discuss in the next class okay okay thank you